so hello guys code rabbit has released their new vs code extension through which you can wipe check your code so wipe coding was a thing now wipe checking all right so basically code rabbit we used to know it's for reviewing prs uh, that is a pr raised into one github repo uh, using their github app or yeah so using ai yeah so now they have released their vs code extension so uh, let's check out this uh, when we go to vs code extensions and search code rabbit you will see their extension yep so we can install it and uh, you will see this icon here that is the code rabbit so you can find this um, like you will be like if when you first install it it will be shown to sign in using github after you sign in it will show a panel like this mm, so what it does is um, it basically um, during the like uh, during dev development itself uh, it reviews your code so how it does that i will sh like show you but it is uh, dependent upon git and git branches so suppose um, so currently i'm in the main branch so suppose uh, i have a separate test branch in a like in git we have separate test branch so the changes we do in the test branch will be reviewed by this code rabbit so how this is how it works so let me first you need to get in it if you don't have git uh, in it in your repo so then what you need to do is i have main branch for now so you have to create a new branch that is for now let's take it test branch so git checkout minus b test so now i'm in the test branch so it is it has created the test branch and i am switched to test branch okay cool then you have to perform the changes in your code base so then we can review all those changes that is from test branch to main branch what are the changes we can review all those here okay cool so suppose yeah like uh, let me use my github copilot for doing some changes in the in this uh, code base so for now i am having um next just to do app basic so it's a basic to do app so uh, it's running on this server let me show you that once localhost 3000 so yeah it's there so now currently when i delete and refresh it's um, like uh, it's refreshing the to do's like i have given a url from where it the uh, like uh, the to do's are fetched but i want to save them in the local storage so i have one prompt that is uh, please add a feature to store the to do's inside local storage uh, so that uh, even after visiting later so it stays uh, even after visiting later okay cool so let's use um, like i'm using um, github copilot you can use any i'm using the cloud sonnet 4 that is newly re released so yeah so hmm. let it make the changes then we can review in the code rabbit so we can see that it has done the changes and uh, first let's test out ourselves so now if i refresh and uh, delete and refresh again yeah uh, so it's being saved in the local storage cool so let me keep the changes and uh, close it and uh, review the code yeah so uh, from test branch we are in the test branch so from test branch we are uh, reviewing the code uh, so let's review all the changes So it's currently reviewing the files. You can see. So only the page.tsx is under review because we have changes only in this file. So let's see the uh, what it comes up with. So finally, it has reviewed the changes, and we have three ref refactor suggestions and one potential issue. Okay, let's check out the potential issue. So missing dependency in the use effect so yeah in user effect uh, this page dependency should be there okay so like you can see how uh, useful it is so it um, reviews your uh, like code to see any is there any security issues or is there any uh, good practices that is missing in your whole code base so yeah so i find it very useful so like yeah you, you can give it a try because it's totally um, like free of free of, free of cost for now so what you can do is then you can click on here which will give the like uh, the the code rabbit what it was suggesting it will give give those into the github copilot so you can see that uh, around these lines use effect hook page uh, needs to be a dependency so yeah uh, dependency array yeah so it gives the context uh, automatically into our github copilot and uh, yeah github copilot does the changes and here we have the page and also the limit in the dependency array of use effect and is there any other nope so, so let's keep that so now 
like you got get to know how it's like how can we can use code rebit which is a totally free so but one thing you must have git installed and like you must uh, have git branches like for now i am having from test to main so you must have that thing so yeah give it a try i am pretty much enjoying code rabbit so yeah if you like the video give it a like share subscribe and all the stuff and till then let's meet in our next video peace